Hey, 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 hey. Well, happy virtual networking Tuesdays, everybody. I hope you guys are prepared for a power packed out hour because, again, this is going to be a little different for this virtual networking Tuesdays because I have invited all of you to join me for a Get Fit edition. And this is really something that I think will continue to encourage inspire and motivate all of us and i say all of us because that includes me too to continue to do some things right from the comfort of our home whether it's in our home or in our yard or just being able to walk around our neighborhood but i tell you i have some of the upstate's finest that are going to be joining me this evening to show us some tips suggestions of things that we can do from home. So again, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yours truly, Miss Jazzy here. I want to take an opportunity to give all of us a chance to share the broadcast. So I want you right now to go to your social media page and share it. Also be sure to like the Jazzy Report page as well as subscribe to the Jazzy Report YouTube channel because we have some really amazing things that's going to be coming up in the next coming weeks and the weeks to come, and you don't want to miss it. I want all of you to be able to say you heard about it first right here on the Jazzy Report. So I'm super excited for our featured guest tonight because we have Miss Taisha Hippolyte. They know her as Raw God all across all social media outlets. And she's going to be showing us some amazing like yoga stretches and talking about her personal journey of how she weighed close to 200 pounds but has now consistently been able to maintain a healthy lifestyle where she is fit and she's continued to do that on a consistent basis. And you don't want to miss her story. So also Mr. Jackie Willpower Rouse himself, he's going to be joining us and showing us some of our bodybuilding, weightlifting techniques that can help all of us right from the comfort of our home. Now you're not going to believe this, but he told me, so y'all can do this now that you can get some canned goods. And he's gonna show us some lifting techniques. So if you wanna go to your cupboard and grab you two canned goods, if you don't have any weights at home, we're gonna show you something that you can do to stay fit while at home, while being quarantined in. And also, big shout out to the crunk lady herself, Miss Shauna Marie. She's gonna be joining us and she's gonna show us how we can actually praise off some pounds. Now, how cool is that? Well, I tell you what, y'all see, I got my workout clothes on. I got on my Jazzy Report t-shirt. And so I'm going to be able to roll up my sleeves and I'm going to really get in here for many of you that have been following me as well. You know, I'm on day five of a 21 day challenge, which is really working out my abs and my lower body, something my daughter has gotten me caught up in. But you know what? I'm committed to the 21 day challenge and I invite all of you to join me as well. I can see the link now. If you're interested to get in, you can start the day could be your day one, but I'm on day five. But the idea is consistency, doing it every day to be able to get the results that you are looking for. Well, you know what? Just yesterday, I chimed in with many of you that responded and said, how many pounds have you gained since you were quarantined in? And so I'm going to give you some feedback Many of you guys responded. Now, Miss Char Charlene Hope, she said that she's been walking about two to three miles every other day. And so big shout out to you, Miss Starlin. What a commitment that you've made to your body, that you're making sure you're getting your walk on every other day to get your heart rate pumping. Yeah. So even though we're practicing this whole social distancing, you can still actually be able to get out and walk. And then now Eric Tyler said, now Eric, Eric said that he done doubled in pounds. I don't know about that, Eric. That lets me know you must have been eating, 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 eating some stuff that's not good for you. So I want to challenge all of you guys to make sure not only are you trying to stay fit, but that you're also eating some healthy food because I know it's a lot of processed foods out there. It's a lot of junk foods out there. And I tell you what, if you're going to eat that kind of food, you can expect to double in weight, right? Now, Haskell Brown, big shout out to you, Haskell. Haskell responded and said he's gained too many. So I said, that's probably because you've been eating good. Now, Alphys Anderson also responded. He said it's called quarantine 
15. <laughs> Laugh out loud is how he responded. If he gained any weight over this time since we've been quarantined, yet. I said, you know what? I've been seeing you and your wife. That's all that good cooking that they've been doing in the house, showing off all those homemade meals. And I tell you, I know many of you guys have been able to cook from home versus eating out at the restaurants. Now, Katrina Smith responded that she's actually lost two pounds. A big shout out to you, Miss Smith, for staying committed and faithful to the grind. You know, I was thinking about her recent uh, offering her book called From Bear to Barely There, because again, she used to be of uh, many more pounds than what she is now. And she tells her story in a book, but she's lost two pounds. Now I was also inspired, Miss Angela Faulkner, big shout out to you, Angela. Angela said that she has actually lost 12 pounds so far, but she talked about how committed she was to her 40 pound goal. So she has a goal of losing 40 pounds and we wanna be able to get behind you and push you toward your goal. So will you guys take a minute to just chat in and say, you got this Angela and let her know that we are following her journey and we want to support what she's doing to also get fit. So this is the special get fit edition for the virtual networking Tuesdays. And I'm so excited. I'm going to take an opportunity to get ready though, to introduce our very first guest. Now, when I thought about some of the guests that we would have tonight, I thought about how cool would it be for those of you that actually were in person when we actually did Networking Tuesdays over at the Cigar Experience downtown Greenville. Big shout out to Pete Lee and his lovely wife, Vaughn. But we had Networking Tuesday over at the Cigar Experience and the SOE firm actually sowed a seed of $100 into this young lady that is actually going to be our very first guest, Miss Taisha Hippolyte. But most people know her on social media as Raw God. The name pretty much stands for her always being in the rawest version of herself. Remember, I told you she used to weigh close to 200 pounds and was going through a series of health problems. You know, she was going through physical and spiritual battles. She indicates how she started a 30 day water challenge, 30 days lifestyle change where she consumed alkaline foods for a day. Listen, she continues to put herself through a series of challenges to retrain her mind and body. She also created a guide sharing what she has done to transition to a healthy lifestyle. She also came across yoga, and breathing exercises, meditation, and so much more. All of these practices have helped her to heal from trauma that she was holding on to from her past. So people often see her do what she does, and that's exercise, eat clean, yoga, etc. But all of that, she will let you know, is a reflection of her inner world. And she says, what she does now to maintain a consistent lifestyle, that she actually shares this with others. Now, she also sells intestinal cleanses, okay? And this is something that I'm going to allow her to talk about and give a little more detail. But again, this lifestyle really that she has created for herself consists of her exercising while maintaining a high, raw, plant-based lifestyle. And that's something I'm kind of converting into. I'm not really like all raw yet, but, you know, I'm making my way. And so I'm really excited that she's going to be able to share her journey about currently being enrolled in school to become a personal trainer. Now, one thing about her that I can say, because I'm a little small frame too, but she said many would say that the life she lived is not possible to get fit and to gain healthy muscle mass, but she is here to show different. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't you take an opportunity to give a round of applause and welcome to the live with me tonight, Miss Taisha Hippolyte, also known as Miss Raw God. How are you doing, beautiful? How are you doing, Ty? Can you hear me? You can't hear me? Okay, so are you on mute? All right, say something. Yeah. Can't hear you. Okay, we can hear you though. All right, so you can hear me. I can't hear you. Then we'll come back to her. We'll come back to you. We'll come back to you. 
All right, so I don't know. We lost time there as far as some technical difficulties. So again, she has an amazing story that I was hoping that all of you that are listening, all of you that are watching, can be able to let her know that you heard about her right here on the Jazz Report during this whole Get Fit edition. If you know anything about just following her on her social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you will see that she has some amazing stretches. And I mean, she has the flexibility of her body that I know is really a matter of mind over body that she can actually transform into these curls and twirls and stretches. And I don't know, I'm telling you this is how it's unbelievable what she could actually do. So I tell you, with all that being said, let me just read a little more of these responses because I was asking and I posed a question on yesterday, how many pounds? have you gained since quarantine? Now, Jenny Dawson Coleman mentioned that, you know, she hadn't really been doing too good. She mentioned how the ice cream and the Oreos has had her bound. And I'm sure some of you have been snacking on some of your favorites too that you know is really not that good. But I know Jenny is a good walker as well. So she's at least getting out, doing some things. And I'm sure many of you that are watching, now, maybe you can chat and let me know what have you actually been doing? Have you been working out? Yes or no. Are you walking every day? Yes or no. Do you have an in-home kind of gym that you could really be able to say that you can work out at home and still get it in as if you were at the gym that you pay a membership to? I wonder, are, are they going to give y'all uh, like a refund if you're not using? Are they going to still make you pay for that gym membership? I don't know. Well, listen, Stephanie Melanin Loudon, we know her as, says that she believes she's lost some pounds around her waist in her stomach area. So I'm sure that has a lot to do with all that dancing she's been doing as far as with the TikTok and with all her Latin dances that she's been getting in. And so again, big shout out to you. Now, Melissa Rose said zero pounds. She's not gained any, but she's not lost any either. So she's been kind of maintaining where she is with her weight. Now, LaVon Bailey mentioned that she believes she shedded a few pounds. And then Miss Kimberly Murray Griffin said that she gained about four. And so for this Get Fit edition, listen, this is an opportunity that I wanted to bring some of the upstate's finest that I believe that are close and dear to me that we can be able to let you know that um, there are things that can be done from home. And so I really appreciate all of you for taking time out of your busy evening tonight to join us for Virtual Networking Tuesday. Just doing something a little different, out of the box, bringing some joy and laughter right into the comfort of your home. So again, thank you guys so much for rolling with me this hour. If you are chimed in on Facebook, for those of you that are watching, why don't you chat with me and let me know if you've lost any weight, if you've gained weight, and do you have a plan to work it out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if not, I know we'll be able to share some tips. We'll be able to share some suggestions of things that you can do right from the comfort of your home. And so I think we're going to get ready now that we can be able to bring up our next guest. And so our next guest that is joining us tonight, Mr. Jackie Willpower Rouse himself. What's going on, Jackie? Hello, hello, hello. He's the founder of Transform X Fitness, Health, and Wellness. He is a supernatural bodybuilding fitness men's physique pro body builder. Now, this is something that I was like, I didn't realize it had been this long, but you've been doing this. You've been training for like 20 years. I was like, you look like you're about 20 years young, you know, but he's been doing this a long time, ladies and gentlemen. He specializes in weight loss. He also offers a 12-week transform program and flexible dieting. He's also a certified personal training and nutrition coach, and he's been competing since 2014. Now, he's very passionate about health and fitness, but most of all, he loves helping his clients create a lifestyle change. People that are looking to create a lifestyle change not just the diet is those that would be the most people that he wants to really help because, you know, this is a process, but he helps his clients to create balance, something more sustainable by coaching them to eat 80% healthy and 20%
of what they love while losing weight and reaching their goals. So ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the live none other than Jackie, Mr. Willpower Rouse. Welcome to the live, Jackie. How you doing? Hello, I'm doing great today. How about you? Listen, man, I'm here and you know, I, I'm so excited because there's many people that are watching that are trying to really figure this thing out, stay in quarantine then, you know, the gyms are not open. Most people are most passionate about being in a gym setting or maybe even having, like myself, I found it to be a challenge, having a workout partner. But first of all, I wanted to bring you on that. I know you're going to show us some techniques, but I really want to talk about you personally right now with your whole bodybuilding career. You know, you've been doing this for 20 years, so you, you got a little bit of knowledge of what you're talking about. And so there may be someone watching right now that they thought about training and maybe getting into bodybuilding and maybe have seen the pictures, seen the trophies and what that really looks like. But why don't you talk a minute about how did you actually get started and, and how did your passion for bodybuilding, how did that really kick off? Uh, well, uh, bodybuilding itself uh, found me really when I was young. It's really how I got into fitness. Um, I didn't really have any muscles. I was kind of... Take me off right um, now. Are you still there? Okay. So basically it started at a very young age. I mean, I used to read Flex magazines uh, when I was little, probably around 17 years old, I started reading Flex magazines. And um, I kind of really wanted to be one of those big, big open bodybuilder guys when I first started out. Um, over the years it changed, uh, I continued to work out. So I basically started working out at 17 years old actually. Um, and it just stuck with me over the years. Um, fitness kind of found me, um, uh, with the bodybuilding It started in 2014. I finally got up the courage to get on stage. I had, uh, met, uh, a, a, a guy who introduced me to a seminar and it was talking about, uh, actually going to, to do bodybuilding. So I, I ended up going, I think the very first year was actually 2013. And then I, I, I trained for it. And uh, I actually backed out that first year. So in 2013 was really when I was supposed to start. Um, I finally went back 2014, worked hard. Um, um, and I was always nervous because I didn't really have the confidence to think that I could actually get up on stage in broad shots and feel comfortable and, you know, feel like somebody who could actually do it. Right. Um, but um, by me doing it, man, it, it really helped me in building my confidence and all that good stuff. Um, getting on stage, I actually placed first place my very first show. Wow. Um, um, so I kind of spoke it into existence the very first time I actually did it. And I didn't have a clue of what I was doing. I only had read up a little bit. I actually prepped my uh, my whole stuff the first very first show that I had. Um, it's a lot of work uh, with, with bodybuilding. It's basically uh, very strict dieting. Um, there's no uh, cheat meals. Um, depending on the person. Um, so um, with bodybuilding, you basically got to be strict. Um, I competed, I think in 2015, I, I skipped a year and went back 2016. Um, so I've done about over over the years, I think, I think in, let's see, uh, 2017, I competed. That's when I won my uh, pro card for the SNBF show. So that show took me about I guess four years, three years. And I actually, each year I went back, I think I did second place and then I got third place. So mm -hmm. I think the three times I did the shows back to back, I ended up with my uh, pro card, that, that third try. So, uh, but anybody that's really wanting to get into the bodybuilding world, I encourage you to try it out. I think it helps build confidence overall. Um, and, um, if you really want to do it, you can hit me up. Um, I'm also helping one of the uh, the first lady that was on the day. I'm helping her do her first bikini show. Uh, we had one scheduled in September, but because of the coronavirus, uh, we had, I think they actually canceled that show. But we're still working on it and waiting on the next show, show date. Wow. wow. Well, that's exciting. And, and, you know, one thing I realized about bodybuilding is it's an art. So, I mean, I think about a lot of the curves and the, you know, I'm doing this whole 21 ab workout challenge and, you know, I can, I can feel them in there, but it's not as fine. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. And I know that does take a lot of discipline. So again, big shout out to you for what you've done. I mean, all the accolades and the awards that you've won. Like you say, your very first show went in first place. And I'm sure that was just a, a boost for you to continue to go on and on and continue to do it year after year. So kudos yeah. for that. Um, as we're talking about weightlifting, though, and I see that you're in the comfort of your home and you've got a little workout right behind you. And yeah. the thing you were telling me about before we went live is he was like, there's some things you can do right at home with some canned goods. Yeah. So when you're thinking about weightlifting and bodybuilding and really kind of doing some curls, what can, what can we do with these canned goods? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, the canned goods are just a substitution of weight. Um, it doesn't take a lot to kind of, you know, get to get fit. I mean, especially in this time when we're at home, we can't really go anywhere. Okay. Um, you can find anything around the house, water bottles. I mean, you can get creative. Anything that you can hold in your hand that's probably that weighs the same, you would want them to weigh the same or be the same product. Okay. But I actually have dumbbells. So, um, Let's talk about um, the first exercise we're going to do is a bicep curl. So a standing bicep curl. I hope y'all can see me. I'm going to yeah. try to figure this camera out. All right. And so what you want to do with a standing bicep curl, you want to have those dumbbells right beside your side or your cans, right? All right. You want to have that chest up and you want to have your arms bracing your sides. All right. Then you're going to curl all the way up to the shoulder and return back to that bottom position. All right. And then do it again. All right. So you can do uh that's a basic arm exercise for the bicep that you can do three sets of ten all right and then let's talk about another exercise that you can do uh, for your shoulders so what you're going to do with your cans or your dumbbells i have the access to dumbbells all right so you're going to place the shoulders right above your shoulders all right and you're going to press up Turn up on camera so you're going to go up here and slowly back down a little bit below 90 and back up. All right, anytime you're doing a press, you wanna exhale out and then inhale going back down. All right, so three sets of 10 with that. All right, and so now the next one we're gonna actually do is a front squat, okay? So what we're gonna do is take the can, you can hold it up under the dumbbell I have, so I'm gonna place my hands right at the top and I don't know if y'all can fully see me, feet shoulder width apart. All right, and so we're gonna squat down, chest up, eyes forward. Oh, I have to turn my camera a little bit so y'all can actually see. Sorry. Okay. All right, so feet shoulder width apart. You got a can in your hand and you wanna go all the way down or you can and right back up and return. All right, same thing. Make sure you're breathing through this exercise as well. So going down, we're gonna inhale and then exhale right there. So three sets of 10 on that. All right, and then I think we said do a core exercise. So I'm not gonna get y'all on the floor. Some people uh, can't get on the floor. So we're gonna do a, let's do a, uh, Let's actually do a, a core exercise that targets the obliques, all right? So you still got your can in your hand. I have a dumbbell. I just went down low. You don't need a lot of weight. All right, and you're gonna stand feet double width apart, and you're just gonna twist at the torso all the way around. With me, I like to follow the dumbbell. So we actually filling it in the oblique area. All right, so that's actually a good workout to hit those obliques. All right, I'm gonna show you one more. All right. Where pretty much you can do standing up. So if you're having back issues and stuff like that, this is something that almost anybody can do. All right, so what you wanna do is take this arm here, this leg is gonna meet in the middle. All right, so you're gonna go here, all the way back up here, all the way back. All right, so you wanna make sure Definitely, I see you in the video. You want to make sure your legs are out wide. So you want to start with a wide base outside shoulder width apart. All right, and then you basically want to go elbow to knee all the way up. And most people may can't touch elbow to knee, but if you can, to really get that core working, all right, you want to make sure you're coming all the way up as far as you can. All right, and stepping right back out. Then the same thing with the other side. 
and you can also add resistance to this so if you have two pound one pound dumbbells or water bottle you can hold those in your hand while you're actually doing it to add resistance to the core all right ah, all right look i can so, see so did that burn stephanie I can see doing that, you know, adding a little speed to it and adding a little music. So those are some simple, really things yeah. we can do from home while we're quarantined in. And so for those of you that are watching, I hope that he has shown you something. Maybe you didn't even think about, but I didn't definitely think about using the can good. But I tell you what, this is something that I could use to be able to, like I said, use that resistance. So again, Jackie, there may be someone watching right now. How can they reach out to you? um well you can hit me up on facebook instagram on my facebook is jackie willpower rouse on instagram is j willpower j willpower underscore i think it's jackie underscore willpower that's what it is on instagram uh my telephone number is 864-263-9344 you can also reach me there uh and i also have a website it is transform x-fitness.com that you can also reach me uh at as well all right well listen i really appreciate you chiming in with us listen guys let them know that you found out about them right here on the jazzy report during the get fit edition with miss jazzy i want you to reach out to him and ask him about his 12 week transform program 12 weeks transform program and ask him about him being a nutritional coach and the fact that he is a mobile personal trainer as well. I know there's a lot of social distancing as it relates to, you know, but again, knowing that he knows what to do, how to do it, he will actually come to you right in the comfort of your home, right to your job, wherever you may need him to come to train you for whatever it is for your fitness goals. So again, Jackie Willpower, congratulations again for all the years of fitness and bodybuilding and what you've done and to train and help others. Again, as you mentioned, one of your personal clients you're going to try to bring back on. It's going to be interesting to watch your journey to take her to the bikini competition, right? And hopefully bring back first place. So thank you again so much for joining us, Jackie. We appreciate you. Yes, Bye. all right. Yes, welcome back. Ty, can you hear me? She can, still can't hear you. I don't know. Do you have earbuds in your phone or something? You have earbuds in your phone? I don't know. We we whatever you did earlier worked perfect. So I don't know. I really want you guys to hear her story. But again, it's such an amazing opportunity. An amazing opportunity. I don't know why we can't hear her this time. We did a sound check. Everything went well. But she is our yoga girl who does amazing stretches and all this kind of good stuff. Talking about this intestinal cleanse. But we may have to bring her back some other time. I don't understand why it's not working. But again, for those of you that are tuned in with us right here for the Virtual Networking Tuesday, this is the Get Fit Edition. And I stopped by to personally motivate and encourage all of us, and that includes me, that while we're at home, there are simple things of techniques that we can do to be able to praise off the pounds, you know, even use canned goods to bring out some resistance within those muscles and get those muscles churning and popping. But again, I was asking and chiming in with many of you and I said, have you gained weight while we've been quarantined in? And let's see here. Now, Miss Javion James says she hadn't gained any. So Brian Blassingame said he had lost about 18 pounds. A big shout out to you, Brian. Now, Jerry Lynn Smith said she's lost a few, but she's really been working at it, too. So congratulations, Jerry. Now, Key Taz Watson said she's not checked, but she's really been trying to keep those pounds off. Now, Kevin McPhee, this is pretty interesting. He said he's lost about six pounds, but that was due to the fact that he's not been eating out at restaurants, been eating a little more clean at home, as well as exercising and getting proper sleep so hey that says a lot right there he's lost six pounds now Jarrell Dean said he was down three pounds a big shout out to you Jarrell I see you I see you I see you now Shannon Wofford Deal Williams said she's lost about 25 pounds since this is all began so congratulations to you as well now Joy Clancy said she's lost about 10 pounds but she's been working out every day too 
So I know many of us, and I say us because I'm included in this bunch, that it's a challenge to work out by yourself. I know I'm small frame, but I am physically not in shape. I was very athletic growing up. I did all the sports, but now that I'm getting older, I'm really trying to pay more close attention to making sure that I'm doing for my body what it needs to maintain a healthy body weight, not only just physically, but internally as well. So I wanted to be, be able to bring some of the best that could really encourage us to do some things right from the comfort of our home that we could follow them on social media and be inspired. So our, our next guest is someone that you could truly be inspired by. And I'm so humbled because right before joining us tonight, she just got from doing a gospel dance, which she does on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. She also has a crunk kids on Tuesday and Thursday at 12 p.m. But the dance gospel happens on Tuesdays at 6. So Ladies and gentlemen, let me take an opportunity to introduce to some, but present to others, Miss Shauna Marie, aka the Crunk Lady, she is a native of South Carolina. But this is very, very, very important. I want all of you to know that if you didn't know before now, now you know. She is the first African-American woman in the upstate of South Carolina to actually create and nationally launch her own dance fitness brand and DVD crunk cardio gospel. And so it's an outrageously fun dance party with a live DJ, one of my favorite DJs in the whole wide world, DJ Curious George, but it has thousands of people praising pounds off. Listen, she travels all across the nation, hosting master classes and certifications, partnering with schools, to help fight childhood obesity, also partnering with churches. So for all of the churches that are represented tonight, I definitely would encourage you to connect with her, find out what she can do to teach the saints how to take care of their temples. But she also partners with corporate and, uh, and gyms and offer unique twists to fitness, just helping employees reduce the sickness by implementing active living Program. So, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the live Miss Shauna Marie, aka the Crump Lady. Welcome, beautiful. How are you? Yeah. Beautiful. How are you? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So excited. Listen, I met you some years ago, initially through Pure in Heart. They were having an yeah. event with all the kids, and you were out front just live dancing, just getting it in. And it was just absolutely amazing because you make it seem so fun. Yes. And so I want to give you an opportunity. First of all, congratulations. When I think about you being the very first African-American woman, female, to do something of this kind, to brand and launch this nationally. And I've seen your audience grow. And I tell you, I'm just so humbled that you've taken time out of your busy schedule to join all of us tonight to kind of really show us what it is that you do that we could really do from home. It's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. I say it's all God. It's not me. I give glory to him. Um, you know, cardio is the expression of God through the arts. Oh, literally, yeah. literally, we are teaching people how to praise the pounds off. It's about shaping your mind, shaping your body, shaping your spirit. I mean, what does the word tell us that we should prosper and be in good health? Yeah. So prosper. So the Lord wants us to be healthy, right? He wants us to be in good shape. He wants us to take care of our temple. And we're doing it in a way where it's fun. You don't have to think about the workout. You take the workout out of it, the challenge out of it. All you got to do is Wave your hands in the air. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's really it. Jesus okay. is fun. And we teach kids that. We teach corporate that. We teach people that. That, um, you know, if you take care of your body, God honors that. Some of our issues are not the devil hitting us. It's because we eat fried chicken and macaroni and cheese and collard greens. And well. <laughs> <laughs> You telling the truth. That's it. That's it. So our, our biggest thing is being able to travel the nation and shake people's minds, bodies, and spirits one clunk experience at a time. Yeah. It's not about you know choreography or dance routines or having to know sequences or combinations. It's just about you worshiping, just about you praising. You'll just so happen to lose about 25 pounds in eight weeks. 
And I think there's many people that are watching tonight that, you know, you said something key there, like while they're praising some pounds off in about eight weeks, they might can lose about 25 pounds. And so yes. I know a few folks that even based on some of the responses that I was chiming in with folks, even on yesterday that have been gaining this weight of pounds while they've been quarantined in and right. not being as active. And so therefore, that's why I wanted to do this tonight, to encourage people to get them motivated. And what you're offering, Crunk Lady, is really something that's fun. And so I want you to talk about the different days again that you offer this live right on your YouTube channel. And I know you've got hundreds of videos that people can go and subscribe to your channel and, and tap in like right now. So talk about, you know, the days of the week that they can actually catch you live and join in with what you're doing. Absolutely. Thank you. So we are, um, we're going live for our kids. So during this pandemic, I'm a teacher too. I teach at Spartanburg Prep um, in special education department. And it's important for us to get our physical activity. And that's the e-learning requirement. So we created um, Tuesday and Thursday kids dance party slash brain break. So parents are tired of being the ELA teacher, the science teacher, the math teacher. Kids are frustrated, right? So yeah. we're going to get a little brain break. We do that every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube at 12 p.m. And of course, the cardio gospel party for all of our adults goes down on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. On YouTube, and we got something new, Miss Jazz. We got something new. Okay. The absolutely crunk on oh, no. at six p.m. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And y'all can say y'all heard about it. Yeah. Right here on the chat report. So tell them all. Tell them. Give them the exclusive. Go ahead and spill the tea and tell them about the new new. I'm ready. So so one, you can always get. On our website, crunkcardio.com, you can always get our 60-minute DVD. This is up nationwide to everyone two years ago. So you can you can make sure that you pop that in with your family members, your favorite workout partners, send it to a friend, get crunk, but I got something new, even the new new. Okay. On Tuesday, we are starting another crunk challenge. And the first 40 people or $40, it's for eight weeks. $40 a month, we're doing eight classes a month, Crunk Kids, um, Absolutely Crunk, and the Crunk Cardio Gospel, and the 40 bucks pays for your whole house. Oh, wow. Whole house. Wow. Everybody gets crunk together. Okay. Yes. I love it. I love it. And that's starting this coming Tuesday? This coming Tuesday. All classes will be Tuesday and Thursday. So all they have to do is inbox me, hashtag Crunk Challenge. And we will inbox them the rest of their details, get them going on Zoom. And we're going to keep praising these pounds off, Miss Jessie. I love it. So tell them again how they can reach out to you. And I say, let's do it. I want to allow you to show us how we're going to praise off some pounds. So tell them how they can reach out to you. Absolutely. So we're on all social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, at Crunk Cardio, C-R-U-N-K Cardio. And you can find us on our website, www.crunkcardio.com. I love it. Well, listen, let's get crunk. I think I'm going to try to follow your lead to show me how we're going to trade off a few pounds. Just give me like two or three minutes to see what yeah. I can to hang out with. Yeah. Miss Jazzy said, give me two or three. Don't, don't kill, don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. Just two or three minutes. And if anybody want to get more of an extensive workout, they can definitely go and subscribe to your YouTube channel, go to your website, order your DVDs, and go ahead and take the crunk challenge. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Most of the people that got their stimulus check, now that $40 would be a good investment to make sure you get fit throughout this time. All right, let's go, Miss Crunk Lady. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so I got two crunk members to help me, so y'all come on. Okay. Two, three, just two, three minutes. We're going to get busy. Miss Jazz, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to see my daughter's going to come on with me. Come on. <laughs> All right, we're here. Let's see. Can you hear me? Can you hear my music? With Sean Marie. Good. DJ Curious George. Two minutes. Here we go. Are we going to step it out? Left. Left. Come on. Everybody is so, oh, 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 oh,
amazing thank you again for your time thank you for joining us for again give it one more time for someone that want to reach out to you and learn more about your your crunk cardio program yeah. miss jesse thank you it's an honor it's been an honor to be on your show it's been an honor to present and share our gifts you're amazing thank you for sharing your platform absolutely you find cardio gospel with sean marie on all social media platforms facebook uh, instagram twitter youtube at Crunk Cardio, C R U N K, or www.crunkcardio.com. Get up on this challenge. I'm going to praise this pandemic pounds off. That's right. And you know what, Sean? There are so many people right now that they're not as motivated. So before we get out of here, though, I want you to really take an opportunity to encourage someone to get fit, to really get started, and that they can begin, like right now, they can begin today or maybe begin tomorrow, but the bottom line is that they get started. So what would be your word of encouragement for someone that's watching tonight to really get started with this whole Get Fit Crump Challenge? Listen, the, the big thing about what we do is we create our crunk nation. It's a crunk community. So you have a support system. With us, you don't have to do it by yourself. We have a private Facebook page. We reach out to you daily. We make sure that you're, you know, you're encouraged, you're motivated, you're inspired. We're praying for people. We're asking what their weaknesses are, giving them scriptures, giving them prayers. This really is a ministry. We dance. But it's ministry. So the big thing is knowing that I don't care if you didn't get up yesterday, if you didn't get up this morning and work out, all you gotta do is start. And each step that you take is a victory, it's a success. I don't care if you work out for five minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds. It's more than what you did yesterday. All you gotta do is move. We got you. We're gonna push you, we're gonna pass on back, we're gonna clap our hands for you. We got you. Just get up and start. You already have the victory in God. Just get up and move. He's going to do the work. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Look at that. Don't give me I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you again so much. I really appreciate you. And I say I'm so excited for what you're going to continue to do just for the body of Christ for the school kids, for all of the children. Listen, parents, for those of you as y'all are home, we are homeschooling. Remember, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 p.m., get your kids in front of the TV. Let them go live with none other than the crunk lady herself. Make sure you follow. Let them know you found out about her right here on the Jazz Report. God bless you. We love you, okay? Love you. All right, listen, guys, that's it. I tell you, that's been our time. It's been absolutely amazing. I just wanted to come and really take an opportunity to, to encourage all of us. And just to say, for those of you that have really already been doing your thing and you know you consistently work out already, kudos to you. But for those of us that are challenging and maybe wish we had a workout partner, I know there's many of you guys that you live alone and you're really trying to figure this thing out on your own. So that's why I say, you know what, let's do a get fit edition that we can kind of get people motivated to get started, to pick up, if you have to pick up canned goods, if you don't have the dumbbells at home, as the gym would really have it. But there's things that you can do right from the comfort of your home to get fit, 
There's things, guys, that you can do right walking around your neighborhood that can get your heart rate pumping. But again, big shout out to every one of you that have joined us tonight that really tried to do some of the things that we were showing you how to do that you can hopefully implement this to be a part of your get fit, healthy lifestyle. I would love for you to share as you're taking your journeys with us and let us know how you're doing. Keep us informed. I want to shout you out from time to time that you can be able to say you got motivated right here from being a part of the virtual networking Tuesdays, a get fit edition. I love to see that you actually, you know, accomplish your goal. So from me to you, as we encourage each other, I'm going to continue with my whole 21 day ab and lower body workout. And I would love for those of you, if you're on your own challenge or if you become part of whether it's Jackie's 12 week program or Raw God, if you reach out to her and inquire about her intestinal cleanse, or if you be a part of the crump challenge, whatever you're going to do, the idea is just do something while you're at home. Hopefully that you won't be so stressed and be full of anxiety, but you can be encouraged and to know the promises of God and just being able to take care of your temple. But no, I love you guys. Until next time, listen, next week, we're going to be talking about some very personal self inventory things that you're going to really have to ask yourself, do I have a will in place? Do I have the proper amount of life insurance? Do I have my funeral arrangements in place that some of those hard questions of things you've maybe not thought about when we think about this pandemic of this whole coronavirus that swept across our nation, well, we're going to address them next week. Um, so be sure you guys tune in, stay connected, stay plugged, and most importantly, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to like the Jazz Report. And for those of you that have already done that, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate your support. And for those of you, again, from my business party, December Rose, behind the scene, my daughter for joining me tonight. I love you guys. Until next time, Miss Jazzy, I'm getting out of here. This was the Get Fit Edition with Miss Jazzy. <laughs>